Um, so I, I was invited to come down to Madrid to be part of Foto España. I have always thought of my photographer as trying to be an adventurer, trying to find or explore new territory. We picked a, a certain collection of landscape photographs only because the, the theme of the festival is, is place. And so we picked a selection that was, would sort of reflect um, my work over the past years and create a, a rhythm between um, predominantly um, works from the US or California and some classical sort of um, images from the Alps, which is a very, um, yeah, it's a very traditional genre of, of, of landscape photography. When I came to the US and California, I started to take um, photographs from the air from above to sort of um, create this, um, to have this overview which gives you a lot of information and it's a very uncommon standpoint and it also gives you a, um, a kind of topographical view that you are not used to when you, when you stand on the ground. I always like the tension between uh, landscape, cityscape, industry and, and maybe yeah, untouched landscape. Some of, a lot of the, some of the photographs in California are taken on the edge of, of the city and for example the image behind us is, is taken in in Malibu, and I'm never really um, interested in like um, the photograph as a document, uh, as a documentary device. So um, I, when I think of photographs, I think they should be timeless, and they shouldn't be based in like necessarily based in today's world or in today's reality. And I'm, I'm probably more nostalgic in, in some reasons, and sometimes I like to look be the photographs to be maybe a little bit historical or look historical or maybe look go, go even like towards the future but not that they are a certain document of a certain time. That's maybe create a tension between a contemporary photograph or a contemporary um, image that was done using a 19th century process for example. And that's why I did one albumin print of a seascape that is clearly a reference to, to Gustave Le Grey out of, out of France for example. By looking at different postcards from like vintage postcards, it would. Uh, I was always interested like, that to see that when the screen wouldn't overlap, they, there would be some sort of um, flimmering or blurry edges to it, and that's why that's what I did with the image of the Paso Stelvio. I, I basically used like a three-channel photograph, like it's taking three different images and then sandwiching, sandwiching, sandwiching them together, and. Uh, where there would be overlays between the screens of the offset printing and, uh, and then you get like one photograph that is uh, obviously off because where the clouds move there, there, there would be um, the c color uh, variations and so I thought it would be would make sense for that sort of postcard um, image but then of course there's some images which are clearly taken on the ground so I thought I always, I always did take some small images sometimes and just bring it back in scale and size.